Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for December 29th, 2015. It's a Tuesday morning and it is an icy one if you are north of the major cities, especially over northeastern Pennsylvania, the Hudson River Valley, Connecticut, northern New Jersey, extreme northern New Jersey. I'll show you another map where we can actually see the freezing line, but you can see on the observations we have a nice easterly wind now driving the warm Atlantic air right into the region. You can see where the warm air is winning out definitely along the New Jersey coast where temperatures are in the mid 40s to around 50 degrees in Atlantic City. That warm air will be invading and taking over, but this cold air is kind of like a Rocky Balboa. It is not giving up and it was a bit underestimated in the strength of the cold air and not giving up so easily. So we're seeing across that threat of ice that I was worried about, especially over northeastern Pennsylvania and northern New Jersey, the Hudson River Valley in Connecticut, and that icing is becoming an issue, a little bit more than what I thought, uh, certainly more than what the National Weather Service thought. We even had accumulating snow in Long Island. I saw a couple of pics out there on the Twitter, and uh, it was pretty impressive. See, about half an inch of snow. That's all being washed away, obviously, with temperatures already pushing above 40 degrees on Long Island with a stiff easterly wind at around 10 miles per hour. When we take a look at the observations via another way, which is basically the freezing line right here, you can see it's slowly pushing north. Pretty strong warm air transport developing here at the surface and also at the mid-levels. The mid-levels are actually where the cold airs hang on the longest, especially about 925 millibars. And that's what led to a lot of sleet falling as 850 millibars higher up in the atmosphere warmed up a little bit faster. And it's allowing that cold air to kind of really stick in here and stay in place. We just got the latest observation that pushed in. And that freeze line just nudged a little bit further north. So it's slowly giving away. Northeastern New Jersey, you're above freezing. Uh, basically, extreme northern New Jersey, northwestern New Jersey, Sussex, Warren counties, northeastern Pennsylvania, the Hudson River Valley in Connecticut, pretty much where we thought this cold air would hang in there, is putting up a good fight with snow, sleet, and freezing rain. The good news is that as we move on through the morning, this warm air will win out and everyone changes over to rain. On the surface map, one of the reasons why this uh, cold air has really been able to dig in is this high pressure system was strong we knew it was strong but it's really putting up a fight and moving further to the east slower than what was expected so this high pressure system was supposed to be out over here by now okay so with it slowly moving it's allowing those northerly winds where the cold air is sticking to hang in there a little bit longer and allowing that cold air to funnel down south this is certainly some important lessons to take into consideration as we move on through the season. Our primary low pressure system is in the uh, upper Midwest and pushing into the Central Great Lakes and will continue to lift northward with this warm front following as well. This low pressure system here is a result of the clash between cold air and warm air. This will give way, this will be the primary low and you'll get your warm air flooding the region. And of course on the radar you can see all the precipitation moving through the region. It will continue to redevelop out here over portions of central Pennsylvania and Virginia. As lifting intensifies, that moisture will basically coalesce into periods of rain throughout the day today as that warm air wins out. On the surface map, again, you can see on the infrared satellite picture, all your lifting is already pushing into New England. That's all these higher cloud tops. And now we're getting into some weaker warm air transport and uh, a little bit less lifting over here into the southern mid-Atlantic and northern mid-Atlantic but again this will reinvigorate as this low pressure system pushes northward and again look for some rather windy conditions for today as well anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour gusting over 30 miles per hour at times as you have a clash between this 1040 high and this 998 low so let's dive into this forecast for this morning, that warm front will continue to push north. The cold air will continue to be eroded away. We're still going to be dealing with some ice in uh, Connecticut, the Hudson River Valley, especially north of White Plains, and also extreme northern New Jersey and northeastern Pennsylvania. Everyone else is going over the rain, and we'll continue to do so by 8 a.m. By this afternoon, that rain is basically driving through. Now, notice where the low pressure system is here. To the south of this little stationary front, temperatures are going to jump 
to the lower 60s. It's going to get pretty warm right around the Philadelphia metro. However, to the north of this front, temperatures are pretty much going to be stuck in the mid to upper 40s. So it's going to be a heck of a thermal gradient here. And then you have your colder air up further to the north where temperatures are going to be in the upper 30s. So still a pretty drastic temperature difference throughout the region due to this frontal boundary. Cold front will approach from the west by this evening and drive through with showers coming to an end by about the rush hour time period. Temperatures overnight tonight uh, will basically gradually fall. We're not looking at a ma major drop in temperatures, but we will be drying out and clearing out. Look for lows by tomorrow morning in the mid 40s. Temperatures tomorrow will rebound into the lower to mid 50s, but there's going to be plenty of rainfall around as another low pressure system drives up the coast, this time cutting through Virginia and heading up towards uh, about central New England with periods of rain tomorrow afternoon on through Thursday morning, clearing out by about the rush hour time period. On Thursday, still rather warm, but this cold front right here, shown as a stationary front, will be the starting trend to much colder weather. So on Thursday, look for temperatures similar to Wednesday, mid 40s for lows and lower to mid 50s for highs. Then we start getting into our cold pattern and it's going to get pretty interesting moving forward, I think. Uh, enjoy the warm weather. It's done. Over. And here comes, first of all, normal temperatures for this time of year, but also I think an increasing threat for winter storms as we move forward beyond this forecast period. So for Friday, look for high pressure building in. Watch out for a few flurries as a few uh, weak clippers move through. Temperatures on Friday will be in the mid 30s for lows and mid 40s for highs. Still slightly above normal, but not that far off. Then for the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, polar high pressure will generally be in control, but we're going to be dealing with these little clippers diving south from basically the Hudson Bay down through the northern mid-Atlantic. So watch out this weekend for a few passing flurries. It's certainly possible, possibly even a nice little burst of snow via a snow shower. Temperatures on Saturday will be in the upper 20s to lower 30s. For lows, highs in the lower 40s. On Sunday, lows in the upper 20s to lower 30s. Highs in the mid to upper 30s. And then on Monday and Tuesday, we're looking at lows in the mid to upper 20s. Highs in the mid to upper 30s. So certainly a uh, push back to no normal, even slightly below normal as we head into this weekend and early next week. So that's your forecast discussion for today. Thank you for following NYNJPA weather, and as always, stay safe out there.